guys and for having me. <laughs> well, first, uh, th thanks for having me. Uh, I, uh, I'm here to talk uh, about Fedora Latam. Fedora Latam, you know, it's a, it's a big group that have been, um, they, have, they have a lot of contributions uh, for, for years, okay? But right now, it's some that. Okay, I know that the last time that uh, you uh, you guys talked about this, uh, I think the last year, <laughs> it was a controversial um, uh, conversation. Okay, um, I am here to give my point of view about it, uh, to change, uh, to to give an idea how how to get more contributors in Latam. Okay, first. I am Eduardo. I am package sponsor, ambassador, GSAC uh, mentor, and Fedora contributor since 2012. Okay, and well, uh, I am not here to talk about the past. Okay, uh, it's to give a context about our community and and how it was in the past. This is uh, one of the false uh, contributors in 2016. Okay, but. And simply no time when we have a lot of ambassadors in many countries, okay? Venezuela, um, La, um, Panama, um, um, for example, we had a lot of contributors in Peru. Um, uh, we started to make a good work in uh, packaging, okay? And we, we, we got a lot of contributors in packaging, okay? And we had uh, a good number, a good number uh, of translator in our group, okay? But many of them right now are retired or change the path. That happens, that happens uh, in the time and that happened uh, in, 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 every, in, in, in every country, okay? Where we get contributors in Latin and I think in worldwide, we get contributors in universities, okay? And are really well-established events in the region. Plisol is one of the largest, and Latino World, for example, in Brazil, is one of the, of the largest events in, the, in, in, in that part of the world. Um, but we are not so good in coding, okay? In get coders people, okay? Uh, the vast majority of the students are not developers, are not translators, because you know, uh, in that in that part of the world, uh, we uh, we we won't learn Spanish from from uh, we, we won't learn uh, English from uh, where where we are uh, down. Um, there are, there are not graphic designers, there are not cloud engineers. So it's not, we are not so good in code, but we are really good being ambassadors and users, okay? The people always in Latin are, are uh, excited to use Fedora, okay? Um, and, and they in Latin use only two, only two distros, okay? Ubuntu or Fedora. Um, well, we have a good opportunity in Latam to uh, get more ambassadors and to get more users uh, with uh, every with every version of the distro. Okay, and so what is what is hard to get more contributors? One of them, English is not, is not the primary language. Okay, the coders that are in them um, want to contribute to the main projects, but the, the, uh, usually the projects have a high bar for students and the student doesn't have intensive programming language knowledge, okay? So that is, um, that is a problem to give, uh, to give important contributors. And the, the third problem that I see is even uh, the, the venues in universities, they are not 
they are not given the opportunity to, to, to use the, to use the in university as venue because uh, not always they, they, they expect something in return, okay? And when you are not a student anymore, uh, it's difficult to get a <laughs> to get a venue, okay? So, as I say, from my point of view, Latin is strong with ambassador packages and documentation. Um, where we can get more contributors, Latin has a mo uh, has a bunch of startups, okay? The companies that are increasing in Latin uh, are a lot. The people that are in there speak English. The people that uh, or or are learning English, okay, and usually they are not a student anymore, okay, and they are very interested to uh, to to give contributions to to open source, okay, and also they can could uh, be mentors because they work as a coder all the days. Well, with uh, this strategy. I think we can kill two, even three beers <laughs> with one stuff, okay? I talk uh, with several with several companies in Latin and they are very interested to give space to the community and uh, sponsor the communities, obviously appearing with a name, you know? <laughs> um, they, can, they can be even, be even the sponsors and some of them use Fedora use Red Hat, okay, to create uh, to, uh, to create the software and to create containers and to create KB, uh, virtual machines, and they are very interested to have an updated package. So uh, they are interested to use uh, to use time of the developers to 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 give contributions to the to to the community, okay. Uh, like a 10% of the time or a 5% of the time, you know? And they are also very interested in key updated documentation they use for the project that they use, okay? Um, and for example, uh, I think, uh, uh, to summarizing, I think uh, w we need to change the strategy in Latin because the strategy for a student is not working, okay? And it's not, it, it, it have, been, have been not working for years. And uh, I, I have seen changes uh, gi uh, giving the opportunity to the companies, uh, giving opportunity to people interested to contributing companies to, gi uh, to be contributor of Fedora. So uh, as, as, amb as an ambassador, I think it will be my strategy and the strategy of my group from uh, uh, starting this year to rebuild the Latin community, okay? So, um, um, if you have any question about it, I, I, uh, I, I know that you, that, that you have this conversation before, but the, uh, uh, I would like to, to know your opinions. First, thanks for the presentation and making space and representing our folks from, from LATAM. My question is, I thought it was really interesting that you, you know, you're kind of talking about the startups that are there and that they're, you know, many of them are in that Fedora ecosystem, they're using it and they're interested in sponsorship. My question is, do you s see like an interest in like something say, like a FUDCON style kind of event like we used to do do you think there would be sponsors that would want to host and, and provide a venue for something like this or would provide sponsorship for an event? Or is there something like, what would be, I'm, I'm still trying to understand, I guess, the incentive. Like, what would make it a great thing for a local company to sponsor, say, a, a FUDCON? So then we could do some kind of local regional event, maybe, by, and then sa find ways to save by doing it at, you know, the sponsor's venue, if they have an office, or, if they want to provide some other kind of sponsorship, like I'm just trying to understand, like what's that incentive model look like for them? Is it just that they want, like, is it contributor focused? Is it user focused? Does the question make sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense a lot. Um, 
I think it's a contribution focus. Okay, it's not it's not a user focus, and we can build that uh, that relationship. You know, but uh, I think they are very interested in, in being contributors because they use the software. They use the software as a as a platform for for coding. Okay, but uh, but but also uh, you know that um, a lot of uh, free software projects in Latin America um, are based in communities, and also I think if we have the conversation at the table of um, sponsor our projects and sponsor like Foodcom events or blog events in Latin America, it would be possible uh, starting obviously with the, uh, the, the monthly and, and, the, and the periodically contributions to, the, to, the, to, to all the, 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 the community itself. That uh, answer the uh, question, man? And then maybe as a follow-up, you know, so maybe I'll, I'll give a context and then the question. So the context is one thing I've been following in APAC that I think was really successful last year was there's the Gnome Asia event. So last year it was in December, they did it in Nepal, primarily a Gnome event, but we took a different approach to it and we had a really coordinated Fedora presence there at the event. And kind of had, we did a release party, we had a lot of our, our contributors from the region that were there. And I thought it, it, I think it worked really well that it wasn't like a Fedora event, but it overlapped a lot. There was you know, that synergy that was there. And I think us, it, and it saved us a lot of work too that our, our regional team didn't have to you know plan a whole event and fund an event. like. We want to sponsor it, we want to support it in other ways, but we didn't have to do all that work of like organizing a whole event just for our community. We kind of like piggybacked on it. So, so my question is, do you see any events like on the horizon in LATAM that might be like a great option for say Fedora to co-locate or do something with, like kind of riding along with a larger or bigger event in the region? Do you know of anything that might be really good for that or maybe places where there are Fedora people going? Just curious kind of what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, yeah. good question, good question. Um, there are a huge community in Latin for coding in, for example, Python, uh, PHP is one of the most used, okay? And the companies are using Java, okay? Uh, so there are strong communities working on that. Um, there are not events for that. Cool. Uh, <laughs> there are not events for that right now. They are not e lo localized events for that for 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 the for the languages. Okay. They're all in Spanish. Huh? They're in Spanish, is what you mean. Who? They're they're Espanol. They're in Spanish. Uh, oh, okay. They I, are I, not I localized, jumped. you know, they, they, they are not localized uh, the, um, events for the, the, the programming languages, okay? But there are communities uh, that are, uh, that are um, very active to coding, okay? So I think if we create more events, okay, related to the, to the, uh, to the programming languages, okay? And we use Fedora as a, as a, as a, as a sponsor of these, uh, of these events, okay? That are for the, that programming languages. It could be, it could be useful for give, uh, giving contributors to, uh, to our community. I feel like PyCons have been a really successful event in LATAM for folks. And uh, maybe I need to go talk to one of my, my friends about how PyCon, PyCon? That might be an option. We have some we have some friends and connections over there in the Python world and um, a lot of what we do is all Python. So I think mm -hmm. there is a strong overlap there. It's helpful to know. Thanks. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>